Hi, I'm Stacey Sally coming to you from Quicken Loans Arena, where we're only a few hours away from the Mid-American Conference Championship game, where the University of Akron Zips will battle it out with the Ohio University Bobcats. I'm with Ian Tayek, the big chief, and DJ Johnson. So guys, all three of us have seen these teams battle it out all season long. The first mm -hmm. uh, game went to Akron, and then the second game went to OU, where they completely dominated the Zips. What does Akron have to do tonight in order to prove victorious? Well, it certainly can't be a duplicate of the second <laughs> game. I think they need to come out to a hot start. Don't let OU build that lead early. But I also think the transition game is huge. Um, DJ Cooper in transition can be deadly, and the Zips need to stop that. But I also think they need to attack on their own and get some easy buckets. Uh, on the lines of transition, tempo of the games will be very, very important tonight. Akron, yeah, they like to run, but they like to play half court as well. And then Ohio, on the other hand, they like to run, they like to run, and they continue to like to run. Get Cooper in the open floor, use his wings like TJ Hall, who had a big game last night, mm -hmm. uh, Walter Offit, Nick Kellogg, if those guys can get going. Uh, that's what OU wants to do. Another thing is um, the bigs for Akron have to play good tonight, have to be a major factor in this. Tree, Satinovich, and obviously the tournament MVP from a year ago, Zeke Marshall. Those guys got to play huge tonight and uh, keep keep OU off the offensive glass. If they can do that, that will help out in trying to get a W here tonight. Okay, so the senior Nick Satinovich, he started out strong and he was solid throughout the whole entire game for Akron. And then for OU, TJ Hall, you touched on that, and DJ Cooper, definitely the guys you didn't want to mess with last night. So who has, we'll have to have the X factor tonight. Who, who do you think, DJ? I'm going on the OU side of things. I think it's Keeley because I think Akron holds that advantage down low on paper. So I think a guy like that to get some buckets inside, but also grab some offensive boards and defensive boards, I think will be huge. And then on the zip side of things, I think it's a guy like Gilliam, or maybe a Walsh, a guy that's maybe not necessarily a role player, um, but a guy like that needs to score double figures of the night for the Zips to take this win. I know you said I kind of touched on the two guys already, Nick Kellogg and Walter Offit. Those two guys, the wings for OU, love to shoot the three ball. If they can get the Temple rolling early and uh, DJ Cooper get in the open floor, watch out for those guys on the three-point line. And for Akron, yeah, OU's got DJ Cooper, but it's got to start and end with Alex Abreu tonight. Alex got the best of DJ at the jar. Abreu got the best of, uh, or DJ got the best of Abreu at the convo. Mm -hmm. That's going to be probably the key matchup to watch. And let's be quite honest, yeah. these two just don't like each other. And, uh, you know, tensions will be high inside the queue here tonight. It'll be interesting to see on a neutral setting what happens, yeah, huh? Right. Yes. Okay, so now predictions. I know your favorite part of the show. So you were pretty, pretty close yesterday yes. with a four point margin. What are your predictions for tonight's score? And final outcome. So I went 68-64 yesterday. It ended up 78-74. So you're right. I was pretty close to that margin. And this morning I was thinking, you know, I'm, I'm duplicating last night. I think it's going to be a 68-64 ball game. Zips take the win. I think the depth, like we mentioned yesterday, is just too much for OU. Uh, when they, they, faced, they, they, they took off, faced each other in 2010 in the championship game, the score was 71-65. OU won that one. I like that score again, but flip the teams. I like Akron 71-65. I think Akron's depth, as you said, DJ, a little bit too much in this one. OU had two physical games against Toledo, and especially last night against Buffalo. I think the, the, the fact that they didn't have to play until the semifinals really plays out here tonight. Akron wins it and goes dancing for the second straight year in a row. Okay, well, dreams will be made tonight and some hearts will be broken. I'm Stacey Salvi, Ian Tig, DJ Johnson. Tip off between Akron and OU is at 8 o'clock tonight at the Q. We'll hope to see you there and go Zips.